Hello everyone. Welcome to the Devoted Travelers YouTube channel. This is part 2 of our Halong Bay Luxury Cruise videos. In our first video we talked about all the information about what you need to know before traveling to Halong Bay and how to get the best Halong Bay Luxury Cruise Trip deal. We have provided a link to the first video in our description. In this video, we will cover all the information about how we spent 3 days at the Halong Bay Luxury Cruise, so you will see what activities we did every single day and, most importantly, how did we feel at the end of our trip, our honest and unbiased experience at the end of our cruise trip. Did we feel it was worth spending 700 US dollars for 3 days for 2 people? Could we have spent that money somewhere else? If you plan a trip to Halong Bay, you need to know all the information before you book your trip. Therefore, stay tuned and watch until the end of this video. So, we boarded Genesis Luxury Cruise of Blue Dragon Tours in Vietnam this afternoon and finished our delicious lunch about an hour ago. Now we are on our way to our first activity, exploring Lon Ha Bay in a bamboo boat. We just transferred to a small boat from our cruise, and it is taking us to the Lon Ha Bay area. So it will take about 30 minutes by boat to go to Lan Ha Bay. Something I want to mention here is that we noticed how keen the cruise staff are regarding the safety of their passengers. So it is great they remind passengers to wear life jackets during any trip outside of the cruise. They also advised us to bring hats, sunglasses, or sunscreen because we would row around the Lon Ha Bay area, and we got water bottles from the cruise. So now we are in the Lan Ha Bay area, and we can see there are a number of boats rowed by the local Vietnamese people. So the paddle is made up of bamboo, that is why they call them bamboo boats. These bamboo paddles are solid but very light so it is easy on your body and arms when you paddle the boat. And also, it is a lightweight paddle that helps make the most efficient stroke, so they use bamboo paddles. Altogether, there are about 7 passengers on this boat and one local Vietnamese person is rowing all of us. I am sure these boat riders are very tired of paddling these boats every day. We can see that both men and women are paddling boats with passengers who are coming to Ha Long Bay area. We are very thankful for these very hardworking Vietnamese people who helped us to enjoy our trip in Vietnam.
Now our bamboo boat is heading towards a cave. We heard that there are about eight caves altogether in the Halong Bay area, which are very different from each other. It's too bad that our local Vietnamese boat rider cannot speak English. At the same time, we do not have Vietnamese language skills, so we could not communicate with him. Now we can see that the people who are ahead of us are entering the cave. In a few minutes we will be reaching the cave as well. So there is a small passage in the cave that a bamboo boat or a kayak can go through and come back. The cave that we are visiting today is called Dark and Light Cave. As the name sounds, the cave is in two parts. Wow. The dark cave is long and dark, and the light cave is short and very well lit. So we do not need to get off the boat to explore the cave, and we can see the cave while sitting on the bamboo boat. It is a beautiful cave with hundreds of stalactites and stalagmites hanging from the ceiling. Looks like everyone is very excited to go through the dark and light cave. See the spectacular view of the marina area with bamboo boats and kayaks. It is our first evening here on the cruise and we just came to the deck to enjoy this beautiful evening. There is a short cooking demonstration on how to make the famous traditional Vietnamese spring rolls. It's time to enjoy this beautiful sunset, and we can see that the gorgeous emerald waters are turning silver. Now it is getting dark little by little, it's a beautiful evening with relaxing music playing in the background. You can see that sun has become a golden ball. This is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful evenings and sunsets that we have ever enjoyed. So this is the day 2 of our cruise trip. It is a beautiful day here at Halong Bay area and we are sailing around this area. When we are on the main deck, we can enjoy a panoramic view.
So the first activity is a Tai Chi session for the early risers on the sun deck started at 6.30 am on both days. However, we notice that only a few passengers join this session. We just finish our breakfast and we can see that cruise is sailing through Lan Ha Bay. When we are on the main deck, we can enjoy a panoramic view. Now time is around 9 in the morning today, and we will be going for kayaking in a fishing village. So we are at the fishing village now, and there you can see the inside of Fisherman's Hut as well. Here we will be kayaking for about two hours. Even though we had some previous experience with kayaking, it was a unique experience to paddle in the marine landscape. However, since it was a floating fishing village close to the shoreline, we felt the water was comparatively calmer than the deep sea. We really enjoyed getting close to the impressive limestone during kayaking. We are back on the cruise after two hours of kayaking, and it is time to enjoy and relax. It's a beautiful sunny day here. If you book one night, two days option, then your trip ends after the lunch of second day. Since we booked three days, two nights option, we got an opportunity to explore the area in the evening today. So now we are on the way to our afternoon activity for today. As usual, we are taking a speedboat, and it will take us about 45 minutes to reach there. We will be visiting Viet Hai Village, which is located on Kat Ba Island. To reach the Viet Hai Village, we will ride bicycles. We have to ride about 4 kilometers to reach the village. We'll see how it goes. Oh, I am already tired, and need a break here, it looks like Yas is waiting for me. It's been good exercise to ride bicycles after a long time. We can already see this is a beautiful island with a stunning thick forest cover. There is no garbage, and the water is very clean. Kappa Island is about 285 square kilometers, and it is the largest island in the Ha Long Bay area. Now we are visiting a traditional Vietnamese family house in the Viet Hai village. These families have preserved their traditional cultures for hundreds of years.
The traditional farm family house you see here is made of wood, bamboo, and mud. They have traditional clay cooking ware and utensils they have been using for generations. Farming and fishing are the primary livelihoods of the villagers here. We heard that homestay vacation options are available at Viet Hai Village. You will be able to enjoy the authentic traditional family lifestyle of Vietnamese culture living in a glorious village. If you have enough time, consider homestay at Viet Hai Village. I am sure it will be a wonderful experience. Unfortunately, due to a tight schedule, it was not possible for us. We just came to a shop at Viet Hai Village, where they have a pond full of fish, and it was great for a fish pedicure. See the way these fish eat the dead skin off my feet. As the last activity for today, we are going to swim on this beautiful beach. The sky is dark, and the first stars appear slowly. Now it's time to enjoy a drink and watch stars while relaxing on the deck. Can you see the astonishing views of the lights in the sea reflected from other ships? It's a magnificent night. Did we feel that it was worth spending that much money for the cruise? The cruise trip truly exceeded our expectations. How did we feel at the end of our trip? We had a great time at the Genesis Regal Luxury Cruise. It was a unique experience enjoying the magnificent views of the Halong Bay while the sailing between hundreds of limestone islands. The room and bathroom were very clean, spacious, and luxurious. They even provided housekeeping services while we were on board. From start to end, it was very well organized, punctual, and there weren't any disappointing surprises. We loved all the activities, such as kayaking, taking a bamboo boat to the cave, visiting a village on a bike, etc. It was an action-packed three days, and the food was awesome.
The crew was accommodating, and the level of customer service was at another level. The timing of activities was clearly communicated, they even used a PA system to inform everyone before leaving for activities. We felt that we are staying in a magical place while breathing fresh air, enjoying sea water, meeting new folks, and doing water activities together was fun. Overall, we had an unforgettable and enjoyable holiday experience. If you are a nature lover, this is a must visit place in Vietnam. Well, every good thing has come to an end, so is our How Long Bay cruise trip. These three days passed very quickly. So now we are on the way to Hanoi. Thank you for watching. See you all with our next video. Please subscribe the Devoted Travelers YouTube channel for